Hello, this is Mark McRoy. I'm making a video from microphoneboutique.com here at the Electric Cave Recording Studio in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Today we're going to talk about Lomo microphones and more specifically the solid state Lomo microphones. So, uh, as you know, or you may know, Lomo is more known for their uh, tube microphones which are excellent and legendary and sought after and uh, have gotten quite pricey. But the solid state microphones uh, are uh, also high quality, very good microphones, and they can be bought uh, cheaply still, as of when I'm making this video. Uh, so uh, they're worth looking into. They're kind of based on kind of similar looking AKG microphones. You have this preamp body. In this case, uh, this one here is the UM51 or YM if you're not transliterating. The Russian Y is U. Uh, UM51. This is uh, the most common of the preamp bodies you'll find. And this capsule is the 8A5. So, as you know, Lomo's uh, tube microphones started with 19, and there was a letter A, and then a model number after that. So here we have, in the solid state uh, realm, 8, the letter A, and then a model number after that. So this is the 8A5. It's a uh, large diaphragm condenser, not quite as large as a, uh, as the kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's one inch across, edge to edge. So not quite as large as a uh, Neumann, you know, U47, U67, but not a small diaphragm condenser. Uh, it really works like a large diaphragm condenser. Uh, you can use it on lead vocals pretty well. Um, you might call it a medium diaphragm. I don't know. I'll just call it a large diaphragm for one. Um, so this particular one is uh, one that's uh, common, the 8A5 on the UM51 body. Some people call them UM51s altogether. Some people call the whole thing an 8A5. Same thing. Um, on the same body, also another very common one, is this uh, shotgun microphone. It's the 8A19. Um, 8A19 is not a solid state 19A19. Sorry. It's a little less sought after because it's a little strange for recording music because it's a shotgun. Um, of course, Lomo made microphones for film and television use, so um, of course they would have a shotgun microphone. That was their focus. They were a camera manufacturer who also made microphones, mostly for film and television, but they, they made uh, the best of the Soviet microphones, uh, especially uh, in the 70s and 60s when they were at their height of their microphone making prowess. So, the preamp body. Uh, so there's a bunch of different uh, heads that will fit on this preamp body. Uh, one important thing is that these preamp bodies, the UM51, are made to run on 12 volt phantom power, not 48. So, if you run them at 48, they don't sound good. Um, uh, so uh, the solution to that is spend the 20 something dollars and just buy a little 12 volt phantom power generator or you can modify these microphones to run in 48 volts if you know what you're doing um, it's as simple as uh, replacing or deleting a resistor but I can't remember offhand which one it is um, so uh, talk to someone about that uh, look in the forums and see what you can see but, or you can just use it at 12 volts. Sounds pretty good at 12 volts too. If you put the right voltage to it, it works well. Um, also, it has this strange four pin connector, the Russian military four pin connector. Um, but uh, one pin is unused, so it's just three pins, the same as an XLR, and you can make a little XLR to uh, Russian uh, military uh, style. Uh, connector adapter pretty easily um, also we have uh, this this is the UM53 or YM if you uh, don't realize you're reading Russian um, this, these also had interchangeable heads but you'll see that the head is uh, the thread is on the uh, outside instead of the inside 
The heads are actually, they have the same internal diameter as the Octava 12, um, you know, the O12 series, uh, MK012 Octava. Uh, but they don't, they're not uh, compatible without a modification. You can't put one on one and one on the other without uh, making an, ad an adapter. But uh, just so you get an idea of the size, this is a lot like uh, the Octava. Um, other than the pre, other than it's different, <laughs> um, I would say the um, the Octava capsule on the O12 is tremendous, and uh, it goes way down to. I mean, it's very full range all the way down. Whereas this capsule um, is a little uh, has a roll off that happens a little earlier. It makes it pretty good for strings, uh, guitars, fiddles, mandolins, uh, things you want to sit in the mix and, and wouldn't have that kind of natural um, roll off to it. Um, I think I might have mentioned uh, with this uh, 8A5, I've done lead vocals on this, drum overheads, it's a good mic. Um, I've done, you know, strings with it as well. But this is something kind of more specifically. Uh, um, a very particular sound, uh, and once again, you know you, the uh, AKG C series. It was kind of um, uh, they were kind of modeling their uh, lines after that a bit. Uh, whether they achieved the sound quite, mm, they got something comparable, something also good. So um, that's the roundup. The Lomo 8A series, solid state. UM51 and 53 preamp bodies. I uh, hope it was informative to you. Thanks for watching.